see this project is going to start from 1st of January 2021 and uh, 581 days. This is actually the baseline and we are going to study the things keeping in our mind what is our project management standards when we are going to apply delay analysis for EOT or cost claims using this specific technique. So for that reason, before we are going to jump on Primavera P6 things, we have to be that much familiar with the technique aspects, standards or some parameters. So I'm going to share with you the slides again. And uh, the next slide will help us to understand what is actually this analysis technique is about. The IAP impacted as planned analysis involves comparing the original project plan with the updated plan after changes have been made to identify the impact of the changes on the project. Uh, recently, I have shared with you the Primavera P6 dashboard. That is what we are going to do. We are going to make changes in baselines uh, with delay event insertions. So this analysis actually helps project managers are to determine or find out whether the changes have been executed as planned. Okay. So these are the important documents you should carry to strengthen your impacted as planned procedure. To implement uh, this analysis, we have to follow certain steps. The first one, identify delay event chronological wave with time because we have already studied there are different kind of delay events. There is excusable, non-excusable, concurrent, and uh, compensable, non-compensable. We are very much familiar with these categories, okay? Uh, verify actual dates. You have to be very, very sure about the dates when the rainy season was started, which caused to delay your project completion date. When there was political strike and your material supply was cut off, those dates should be mentioned in a very accurate way. It is not acceptable that you are going to use your, you know, some thoughts that it can be like 13th of April, but actually it was 18th of April. So that thing will weaken your case, okay? Insert delay fragment. Actually, this word is not fragment, it's fragment. Replace M with N, okay? Already explained. And now I will share with you, uh, just give me a moment, I will share on Primavera P6 and uh, I will also share this document. Now this is going to disturb your admin building drawing. I'm also going to share a slide of uh, Primavera P6 dashboard to just showcase you more columns to get more information because we need those columns which are going to show our real time actual dates as well, which we are going to incorporate now. Because before that, every activity was part of baseline and we have logged that baseline. So now we need extra columns, okay? It will show impacted days as well, okay? So now you can see this date are not shown here because this, is, this was not the part of baseline. And now this is shown here because these columns are showing actual, uh, you know, same, happening same to the baseline but any activity which is being added after baseline it will be shown in this columns as well okay so now this happened from 2nd march to 27th of march 25 days we can just uh, make constraint over here why i will just go into the ifc drawings we have to make here status and uh, see you can make mandatory because this was risk and uh, 2nd March it started okay and how many days like here 25 just 26 because you have to keep the date over here 27 March now you have to link make logical network with Primavera P6 you got my point so now you have to make relationship there are many ways to link, uh, to make assumptions like I have already made the, you know, constraint on that risk event. Uh, some people, what they do, they will make lead or lag with the relationship, but that's not factual actually. That is not going to tell you the right information of CPM. When there is too much lag, lead between activities, there is something not accurate. So you should, uh, on risk events, you should apply your 
constraint feature. So that's done. I'm going to make activity details, going to the relationships. And now this activity was actually controlling. You got my point? This is the concept you have to uh, pick from here. This activity was driving, was the activity which is controlling the next activity, admin building. Admin building was delayed by this activity. So this should be predecessor. This is very important point. Again, I will see this should be predecessor. And now we have to go into the successor area. And just one thing I will tell you that you should keep uh, right all the things. This is admin building, okay? I was sharing that you should keep all these activity IDs. It's very easy to uh, type over here. Uh, just copy and then it will be automatically over here. Like, okay, so that is one tip. I'm just click, okay, done. Relationship, finish to start, okay. And now you can see there is impact. See, 